It's February 19th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report. The results are in. Approximately 15,000 web developers filled out the State of JavaScript survey, and the results are shocking if you choose to take them seriously. Although it has a small sample size, it generates a lot of buzz on social media and creates some badass data visualizations, which is all your boss really cares about when choosing your tech stack for the next decade. The first insight is that Angular is on the rise. It went from being the second most hated framework to still being the second most hated framework, but with a 3% higher satisfaction rate. The data is misleading though, and there's really only one person to blame, Ben Awad. He spreads dangerous misinformation about Angular just to impress women. Think of React the library kind of like a Maserati whereas the framework Angular is kind of like a garbage truck. Based on the news coverage and comments in his TikTok, it seems to be working, but we all know that Angular is the GOAT. Apparently the worst technology is Gulp, which was the only one to land in box four, which means if you're using it, you are supposed to reassess your life choices immediately. That's pretty harsh, sir. Gulp deserves more respect than that, but the JavaScript build tool world is absolutely ruthless. Another surprise was to see Vue.js fall in satisfaction. There are many potential reasons for this, but I think the biggest one is likely the migration from from view 2 to view 3. Even though the migration is seamless, it made the overall ecosystem more complex, which makes it a bit harder to learn than it was previously. In addition, all frameworks tend to decrease in satisfaction over time. There's the initial honeymoon phase, then to stay relevant, the framework needs to implement all kinds of new features, then it becomes bloated and complex and people stop liking it, so they switch over to new frameworks like Solid, Svelte, and Alpine, and the cycle continues forever and ever until the end of time. But the creator of Vue, Evan Yu, is also the creator of the build tool, Vite, with a crazy high satisfaction satisfaction rate of 98%. I'm not surprised at all because I was able to quit drinking after I started using it. I try to never have to mess with module bundlers, but when I do, I prefer Vite. Now when it comes to backend frameworks, Gatsby went from 89% in 2019 to a shocking 51% in 2021. Back in 2019, GraphQL was the hottest thing out there, and people wanted to use it everywhere, even to build simple static websites. I think two years later, people have realized that that might not be the best abstraction for the majority of websites out there. And now we have tools like Next.js and and SvelteKit, which also has a ridiculous satisfaction rate, making it even harder for Gatsby to stay competitive. Now, when it comes to building mobile apps with JavaScript, it was never meant to do that. It seems like most of the technologies trend pretty aggressively downward. Ionic is trending upward, which means it's probably a little underrated, but one tool I'm interested in checking out is Tori, which is a Rust-based alternative to Electron for building desktop apps. In any case, it seems like almost everybody thinks that JavaScript is moving in the right direction overall, although it is trending downward from previous years. Nullish coalescing and optional chaining are the most adopted recent features, and there are other features on the way, like the temporal API, to make JavaScript dates not suck so much. Another big surprise for me was to find Fireship under people on the survey. Fireship is not my real name for those wondering, but I do like to live a quiet anonymous life in my mom's basement. I also got twice as many votes as Ben Awad. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.